we've got the Stuart Models Beam Engine Machine Kit, which we're going to unbox. The kit came in a nice sleeve, which I've already taken off. And this is pretty much as it came. I did open it and take out all the polystyrene packing. But we don't really want that all over the house. So in the box, first thing that greets you is a nice little guarantee card. Followed by a certificate of authenticity. Then we have a nice set of engineering drawings. These are mostly one-to-one -one drawings. Some of them are drawn to three-quarter scale. Um, everything fits on one sheet. And then we have the instructions along with parts list, um, the exploded view, and just a fairly small set of instructions on how to assemble and set up the engine. On opening the box, looking at the parts, we've got a rather nice flywheel. We've got four main bearings. In here, we've also got most of the Watts parallel motion. Here and here, we have the cylinder end covers, the connecting rod, piston. I think that's the piston rod. Uh, the valve, valve nut, um, steam unions, and the glands. Everything is all very nicely machined. <clears throat> Looks like it's going to take a little bit of work with the file just to clean up a little bit of flash that's on the inside of the flywheel, and of course, all the um, Parts of the parallel motion will need polishing. As you can see, it's all packed in vacuum packed sheets, so everything is kept safe and sound. I'm not going to open these until I actually need them. Underneath, we have the beam, we've got the um, pedestal or column, it's the entablature. We've also got the crankshaft and the eccentric strap. And also hiding under here, which you can't see very well, are the piston ring and set of gaskets. Now in, in this one, we've got the um, other end of the crankshaft support cylinder, the pulley, the valve chest and valve chest cover, and a box stuffed full of bolts. And finally, we have, and I haven't unwrapped this one yet, this is the main base, which, as you can see, is very well wrapped up. is a large chunk of cast iron Again, the top is nicely machined it's a big heavy lump we look inside I'm not sure if you can see in there a little bit of casting sand left over so that will need cleaning out the bottom is not milled nicely flat so this, apart from cleaning out the casting sand and painting, is not going to take a lot of work at all. It's a couple of very flat, tiny burrs which will disappear with the rub from a file. Okay, in addition to the main kit, I also purchased 
the machined kit for the governor. This is the gadget that if the engine speeds up, closes in the steam valve to slow it down to keep the engine running at a constant speed. Uh, I'm not too worried about running the engine at a constant speed, but the governor does have nice shiny brass balls that spin around and looks cool. Okay, op opening this, we have a huge sheet of drawings and instructions for fitting the uh, governor set to various different models that Stuart do. So here we have a new eccentric pulley to drive it, smaller pulley to go on the bottom of the um, governor, the brass balls, the stand, various levers and twiddly bits, the spring pulley that drives it, and a set of fittings and fixings, including the spring. Now my plan for the kit is to assemble everything fairly uh, roughly, make sure everything works nice and smoothly, make sure the engine operates, and then once I've got it all operating nicely, then I'll strip it down, I'll paint and finish everything, polish the parts I need polishing, and then I'll reassemble it, and then we'll have a complete working engine. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, give it the traditional YouTube thumbs up, and if you hit the uh, bell button, then you'll get notified when I um, start assembling the engine. Thank you for watching.